WWL-TV's Eyewitness News begins with breaking news. This is a family event, especially in this area. Everywhere on the initial St. Charles route, it's a family event. There are children here. There is no need for anybody to bring a gun to a Mardi Gras parade. A deadly shooting on the parade route last night forced people to run to safety. New Orleans police say one man was killed, four others, including a juvenile, were hurt. Thank you for joining us for the Eyewitness News at 5 o'clock. I'm Leslie Spoon, and that shooting did happen as Bacchus was passing by. The New Orleans Police Department say officers took one man into custody. They believe he is the shooter. Our Mike McDaniel is live now with how a night meant for celebrations and fun took a tragic turn. Mike. Yeah, hey there, Leslie. When you talk about celebrations, you can look all up and down St. Charles Avenue and there's just streamers hanging from trees. I mean, it, it was a lot of fun out here, but there's a particular type of streamer that is now on um, the banister back behind me, something that we see familiar here in New Orleans, that yellow crime scene tape. So a much different um, type of streamer that we don't want to see out here. Just imagine being out of this parade route, then all of a sudden just running, trying not to get shot. That was the case along the parade route here on St. Charles. The street was packed with people. When the shooting happened, there were lots of families, lots of kids, all trying to enjoy the crew of Bacchus. New Orleans police say around 930 shots were fired, which witnesses say sent people hitting the ground and some scrambling trying to get out of here. You can just imagine the type of hectic scene it was as police tried to get a parameter set up or a perimeter set up with so many people around. There's so much going on. Police say nearby officers heard those shots and they got here pretty quickly, leading to the arrest of the man they believe is the shooter. We don't know whether he was the only shooter at this point. We do know, however, five people were shot, one of them a girl, all five taken to the hospital where one of them, a man, died. Police haven't said whether these victims were innocent bystanders, which we believe they may be, or if they were any type of intended target. The parade did come to a standstill at one point as police worked the scene, but eventually the floats were allowed to pass. By that point, that was what was supposed to be a fun night out here last night turned into another tragedy in the city. Take a listen to what police and a witness said last night. We don't know what happened prior to that, but we did hear gunshots and officers responded as well as the other agencies very quickly and were able to find uh, two weapons on scene and also apprehend what we believe to be a shooter. Don't judge New Orleans on what happened tonight. This is a very happy, fun place. We are all trying, a lot of us are trying to make this a special place. And we are still waiting for from police to kind of get better under a better understanding of what kind of led up to this shooting. We expect that to happen sometime today and also find out any charges or what charges in particular this certain person faces. Right now, that man is unidentified. Reporting live from St. Charles, Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. Leslie. Mike, thank you very much.